Well, it's Wednesday morning, October 19th. Um, I've thoroughly removed my head from my ass <laughs> so I don't run into the same incident as yesterday. Um, making sure I uh, drink some water here and no food. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you only have uh, two or three more trips to Rochester here. And I think last night was probably one of the first nights I've actually been able to sleep all the way through. And I feel really good right now. So uh, rather than bore you with everything else, I think I'll just spin you right to the hospital. Well, apparently, uh, we need to go to St. Mary's campus, which is one mile down the road here. So, I guess we're going to be walking a little ways, but that's all right. We need the exercise, right? Yep. Babe. Right? <laughs> it's like a never ending It was actually yesterday we were scheduled it. Okay. Oh, for today at 10 30. Right on there. I'll leave this a little on the loose side so we can okay. double check your part. And then the if you happen to leave our floor or anything during okay. that time frame, we do have this little card right. to have to fill okay. out. Just in case they're looking for you while you may be away. Okay. Yes. First part until yeah. they take you in. Okay. Um, I was scheduled at 10 30, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, they just called and they're just like, uh, oh, I, we have two schedules here, one's for today, uh, yesterday, and I was at like one or something, I'm like, no, we just scuffled the whole day, and we're just, we were scheduled it for today at 10.30. They said they're going to do the CT scan and the biopsy all in one shot. I believe that was Brooke I talked to yesterday. So, so I'm not sure what's going on over there, but they must be confused. So, but she says she's going to call me right back. Well, I hope we can get it done today and well, not have to drive back. I hear you. I, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
My name is Dr. Lebo. We uh, just performed a biopsy here, so you're catching the tail end of our visit. Um, so for your sake, uh, I was just going to show you the pictures, Mr. Albers. Um, this is the, the spine, if you looked at the, the neck, okay. um, sort of in this plane. Yeah. Um, so your front is over here and your back is over there. Okay. And you blew it up. And this is this mass that they were talking about. Okay. Um, and so all the white stuff is bone. Yeah. And so you asked how calcified it was. Okay. And as we scroll through it, you can see different parts of it are kind of coarse or, or densely calcified yeah. and other parts are less. So is we sampled a little bit of both. Seems like more of a calcified, calcified tumor. The, the tumor definitely originated from bone, probably from this. See how, you know, you mentioned that the when you had that x-ray in the past, yeah. they said it looked like things were fused. Yeah. I think what they were actually seeing is that um, you might have had something we call a um, an osteochondroma or a benign bony growth yeah. that made this bone bigger than these bones. Okay. And then perhaps that like sort of degenerated or turned into this other big process. Okay. So that's sort of our working diagnosis right now, but ultimately the pathology yeah. uh, from the specimens yeah. we collected today is going to you know, confirm or, mm -hmm. you know, change our diagnosis. Um, then they, would you take like five samples? Yeah, so we took five samples. I can actually probably show you the pictures if that interests you or if that sure, freaks yeah. you out. Then no. I'll, actually, I wonder if they might have to refresh, see if they... It just okay. makes it easy for my whole family to know yeah. exactly what's going on. So you have to use your imagination because now I'm looking at you like a, sure. slight, a loaf of bread. Yeah. So instead of looking at you like this way, I'm looking at you this way. But um, we went ahead and here's like an example where all of this is that lesion. Okay. And you can see this dark line or this bright line. That's say. your sample. This is the sample. Okay. And so we did that five times. We did three times on this side and two over here. Okay. And sort of slightly different angles yeah. to try and get different tissue each yeah, time. One more. Yeah. And no. each time we got a little bit more tissue and a little bit more tissue. Yeah. And the, Culminate, I have plenty no, of tissue, okay, so good. sent a lot to the lab, um, right. and the lab will hopefully get back to us within the next few days with a firm diagnosis is okay. our goal. Awesome. Yeah. How, and how soon do you say like that? Probably. Hopefully within a few days. Few days I, okay. it, it sort of depends on how um, extensive the testing is yeah. and how rare the lesion is. This yeah. doesn't strike mm -hmm. me as something that'll be yeah. require a lot of special tests, but yeah. there's certain things that they have to do where they have to apply stains to the slides and then mm -hmm. the stains take a few days to process. Decalcify. Yeah, and so there's ultimately a lot of the processing on their end is what okay. takes a while. Okay. So um, they probably will have a preliminary diagnosis soon, but they'll wait to release the results until it's a confirmed. Yeah. And it sometimes can take several days. I've seen other, you know, types of lesions take up to a week or more, but oh, okay. in this case, I... I suspect you're looking at about, you know, within the next few days. Okay. If it takes a week, I Yeah, because we get, well, we yeah. have that. They want to do the surgery on Monday. So. Yeah, I think we'll have results by then. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. I'm thinking that they'll have something in the next few days. So they call me and let me know what they think it do is? Do you have uh, the access to the clinical portal? The, I, um, I think so. I have yet to look have. at it. Okay, so. the, all of your test results, including mm. the radiology reports mm. and everything, yeah. all the doctor visits and notes will, will be in there, so yeah. you can check that. And sort of on a you know sure. however a couple of times a day to see if they've updated Can it. Can someone just call me though? And... Um, so my office or the, the radiology yeah. department doesn't necessarily follow them, okay. but you could you could talk to the primary. You know, I, I guess it was Dr. Krauss, Krauss right? Yeah. He would you could me. call his office and maybe talk to his nurse and say, "Will somebody call me?" Yeah. Over, yeah, yeah, and or you know you could just if the if in two days from now on Friday yeah. if you still don't if this results still say pending yeah. you can give their office a call and see if they can look into it and call you back. Okay. Well that's pretty painless. Every 20 minutes. 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 Every 20 minutes.
until what time? It's every 20 minutes. I know. 20 minutes from, I'll be back. So figure what time it is and take the 20 minutes. I don't know what. At the, uh, late on in the. How Smoking. <laughs> Hope it doesn't start on fire. Huh. Can't be good. I like that car seen better days. All right, all done with the CT scan and biopsy. It's time to go home and rest. Pray to God. Tours benign. So the doctor's nurse called. Apparently I got some type of minor infection in my nose from the nose swab. And they want me to pick up some salve, put it in my nose. So back to the pharmacy. Pick up for Todd Alfers. Are you still watching? Yeah, let's get this. It's an ointment, the antibiotic. So it's like a salve? Yep. Okay. So you yep, just like Q-tip it in my that, nose? Or? Yep, okay. that'd be just fine. Okay. Yep, they want you to use twice a day for five days. Okay. Um, okay. Sometimes they have you kind of pinch right, your nose afterwards okay. just to, you know, spread it okay. all the way around all right. as far as that goes. But so, I think that pretty okay. easy. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Have Thanks. a good night. Appreciate Thank it. You. Aleppo, would you like to clear that up? Well, uh, Aleppo is a disaster. It's a humanitarian nightmare. I'm tired. But it has fallen from the stand from any standpoint. I mean, wouldn't you need a signed document? Take a look at Aleppo. It I is know. so sad. I'm you tired. What's and a lot of this is you don't listen to it all the time. Tiny. Because what's happening right? is by fighting <sighs> Assad, who turned out to be a lot tougher than she thought. I don't know. And now she's gonna say, Oh, you know, Assad. She's just, he's just much tougher <laughs> and much smarter.